guys, today I'm going to show you some more factorising questions and the ones I'm going to show you today are typically called the difference of two squares. So we call it the difference of two squares because here's our difference, okay, the subtract symbol just means the same as finding the difference. And we're dealing with square letters and square numbers. Hopefully you're familiar with square numbers. Uh, the first square number is 1 squared, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. The next one is 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. Then 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and so on. Hopefully you know these. If you don't, I think it's a good idea to get more familiar with square numbers so that you recognise this type of question more easily. So, just like with the quadratic factorising we did in the previous video, you need a set of double brackets. So, here we go, let's start the first one. So, in order to get the x squared, just like before in the other video, we need to fill in the x values, because x multiplied by x gives us the x squared. Now, the next step, when it's the difference of two squares, like these questions here, we need to have 1 plus and 1 minus. Now, the other number is the square root of this number here. So the square root of 4 is 2, so I can fill those in there. Now, it doesn't matter which way round we put these because we have to have 1 plus, 1 minus, and it doesn't matter on the order. So that's the first one. If you multiply this out again, you can see it takes you back to the beginning. So x times x gives you x squared. Then you've got your negative 2x and your positive 2x, which cancel each other out. And then finally, you've got your 2 multiplied by negative 2, which gives you negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the next example. I've got my double brackets. I'm going to fill in my x values. Then I'm going to have one positive and one negative sign. And the square root of 49 is 7, because 7 squared is 49. Okay, so that's the second one. So, in the next one, again, it's the difference of two squares, because I've got my difference, I've got a square number, I've got a square letter. So it's the same setup as before, double brackets. So this time, this part goes first. So in these ones, it was x going first in the brackets. This time it's the number. So when we square root 16, we get 4. Then I do my plus minus. And then the square root of y squared is just y. Okay, because y multiplied by minus y gives you y squared. Now, the next two are a little bit harder because when we look at these, we can't really see the difference of two squares. Yes, I can see the difference, but that's not a square number. Neither is this one. This isn't square. This isn't square number. Neither is 50. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go back to simple core factorising, like in my first factorising video, and you're going to take out the highest common factor. So the highest common factor in 2 and 18 is 2. Okay, so it's the biggest number that fits exactly into 2 and 18. And there's nothing else common in these terms. So now I'm going to open the set of single brackets. So what do I multiply 2 by to get back to here? Well, that must be x squared. Then I'm going to put in my minus sign. What do I multiply 2 by to get back to here? Well, it must be 9. But we're not finished, because hopefully you've spotted here, in this bracket, it's actually the difference of two squares. We've got a square letter and a square number. So we can keep going with this question. Okay, the two's still there. But this bracket, I'm now going to separate into two double brackets, like in these questions above. So x squared minus 9. Well, remember, the x is going first because x multiplied by x gives you the x squared. Then I do my plus minus, and the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so that one is now fully factorised. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to look for my highest common factor, and again, in this one it's 2. But also, in this question, there's a common letter, x. There's an x we can take out here, and we can take out the x here. So I'm going to write, not just 2, but I'm going to write 2x. Now, what do you multiply 2x by to get back to here? Well, x squared. Okay, remember you've already got 1x here. Now, we're going to do our minus sign. 
What do you multiply 2x by to get back to 50x? Well, it must be 25. And then hopefully you've spotted this already. Here, we've got the difference of two squares. So this one is going to continue and I need two sets of brackets. So the 2x is still there. Now I've got my double set of brackets. The square root of x squared is just x. I've got my x values here. Then I do my plus minus sign. And then the final step, the square root of 25, which is 5. Okay, so there we go. There are some more examples on factorising of quadratics. And usually we call this method the difference of two squares. Okay, so in my next video, I will be doing some more factorising, harder questions when we've got uh, 2x squared and then a number here and an x term as well. So uh, look out for those ones coming up next. Thank you. Bye bye.